How's it going, everybody? My name is Famine, and I am here at Gimmick Starport. I've been getting so much support, so much congratulations, so many comments, likes, all those things on social media, and I thought I would give you guys a glimpse into further what's going on with Gimmick. I do apologize for the raspiness in my voice. I'm getting over a respiratory thing, um, but getting through it, I've been resting and hobbying, painting at a table is resting as long as you don't swear too much. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. But yeah, I wanted to give you a look, say thank you again, and uh, show you what's been improving here around gimmick. Cheers. Excuse the raspiness of my voice, but I just wanted to show you guys what I have going on here. I've got the droid Ash that we discussed in another video. He's out here working with his little buddy, the pit droid, and they're scavenging through their scrap pile. I have some things here that I wanted to show you, like this pipe right here. That was actually built for a more Tatooine-style diorama. I may change the colorway on it, but leave the pipe like it is, and just use it as a floating piece. And as you can see here, I can move it around, I can have it point in, and I just thought to myself, what's the worst place to put an exhaust pipe? Right next to somebody's balcony. Because that's the type of thing that happens in this universe. And uh, I have that little lift droid there that I had 3D printed. That's just a, a gonk cut in half, and you can set flat things on there, and I thought that was fun. Here I've got the boss man working inside of his shop, you know, rearrange things a little bit for the photos. It didn't turn on that brighter overhead light. I've got to come up with a solution for that. But I have that random spacer talking to him, you know, kind of squatting down, getting in there, trying to negotiate a price on getting something fixed. Here I've got a three and three quarter inch Catwoman sitting inside of my Empire Toy Works uh, droid loader. And this thing is fantastic, but as you can see, she's wearing Ray's vest. I'm actually gonna dye that uh, vest a different color and change Catwoman's boot colors. Probably give her a ponytail, and she's got her little data pad in her hand there. She's gonna be a madam at the local uh, companion or whorehouse, whatever, however which way you wanna talk about it, because it's legal in gimmick and on that planet. And you can see I've strapped down the load inside of this cart, and it's got room for a droid or a person or an alien in the front, and it's just awesome. Empire Toy Works did a great job on this vehicle. As you can see, I've got my little punk rock spacer set up there. He's doing a walk around. And back there is just a couple of odds and end pieces. As you can see, I did put up that Fruity Odie Bar advertisement right there. I wanted that there because I'm actually gonna have a little shop, like a little pop-up kiosk that's selling Fruity Odie Bars. Here you can see I've got some pipe work and some wires running up to the platform. It's just some wooden dowels that I painted, um, did some washes on it, some wires, some scraps. That was literally all junk and offcuts, some cardboard. And um, over here, I'm really proud of this phone that I did. It's a vid phone. It's got a screen on it. You can see that little black bobble to the right. That's a, uh, a camera so that maybe if you're not using the earpiece, you can go ahead and use the face uh, feature on that. The door that I put on the wall there is just something off of an old camping stove toy that I weathered up, added a caution stripe to. Maybe it's a utilities box to get inside of this or, uh, you know, reach inside the walls, the wall panels, and work on some wires. Who's to say? The residents are, and I'm not a resident. I just built the place. I've started adding in some pipe work into the walls and in through the floors here, and I added my brown coats flag there. Just want to show some love to Firefly. It is one of my biggest inspirations. It's that frontier west space pirate thing that I just love. And then over here in the more downtrodden area, I think it's a great representation. And you can see I used an evil Ted Greeley right there, got some red metallics on it, weathered it up so it's like a circulator, brings in air and breathes it out. A piece of railroad plastic um, made into a corrugated wall patch. Uh, I went to toying around and picked up a little teeny tiny movie poster sticker for Re Ready Player One there to the left. That's, that's something I've been working on. And then as you can see, also up along the top, I did add some various advertisements. This cat is going to be the cat from Stray. I was going to paint it as my cat Snowflake, but this cat's just got the perfect, you know, paint job for it, and he just needs a little backpack. And up here on the, uh, the top, the, the next level, as it were, the bottom of the next level, I did install some kind of, like, generator-type thing just to add visual interest. I put some caution tape for anybody with a jetpack or a ship so that they don't bang into it. I hid that light that's back there, even though it is, you know, weathered up and painted, which adds, you know, some cool glow effects and really helps bring that corner together. So these are just some of the changes that I've been making around Gimmick. I wanted to show you guys, even when I'm feeling under the weather, I can work on things. 
This I believe I covered in another video. Just a three quarter inch elbow, painted up, graffitied, um, some cardstock and some stickers and made it into a thing. And I can place it in awkward positions in the way of things because that's what happened is they, you know, moved into the city and the lower levels are now populated by those that aren't as fortunate as the upper level. And that's how it goes. I have gotten so many comments, likes, new followers, um, congratulatory messages, people asking me how I do things, which parts to you know use, what they can do, and I'm super proud, super thankful, so I just, I wanted to give you guys a big look, say thank you, and I appreciate you. Thanks so much, guys.